Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is November the 5th. It is Saturday morning and let's talk about why most new traders, yes, new traders, actually give up or quit trading. Okay, why? All right, because there's a couple things that force them into the thought of quitting, all right, with pretty much just within the first month of them starting. All right, so let's talk about that um, because when I actually first started trading, and not within the first month, I'll say, but I did think about or you know wanted to stop trading or quit trading because to me, I thought it was just too hard. Um, I couldn't grasp the idea of possibly what other traders were actually seeing. Um, but the thing about trading, it's, it's a lot simpler than most people think. And it doesn't happen overnight. Some, sometimes it happens quicker than other for, for others than, than most um, to where they can actually catch on. And it just depends, maybe, you know, you have someone who's very experienced and knows how to trade correctly because that is a very important part. And for me, I had to actually, you know, uh, I trained myself, taught myself how to trade. So it took a lot longer than uh, most people who have someone probably in their pocket that knows actually how to trade um, and do it the right way, okay? So let's talk about, you know, why most new traders actually just kind of stop or quit trading, you know, pretty quick, all right? And uh, we'll, we'll talk about the first thing first. So let's jump right into it. Patience and discipline, all right? I will say this. If you are not a patient or disciplined person, it is going to make it extremely difficult for you to uh, trade, all right? Because first of all, people who are who are not patient, they quickly want fast results. And in trading, there's no such thing as getting quick or fast results uh, without going through the, the um, I guess, the routine or the process of knowing how to trade how can you begin to earn or make profits or to make an income if you do not know where to start from okay just thinking or having the idea that you have the capital to trade is not the answer okay people think that oh trading is just up and down if i can just uh depict which way the market is moving then i'm going to uh, jump in when i see the market you know uh pushing hard to the upside or pushing hard to the downside and all you're doing is chasing the market Trading is very is a very um, uh, strategic uh, skill set or craft uh, that you actually have to learn uh, because it is just not red light green light type setups. Okay, you have to understand what's going on behind the scenes. You know how people go to a play or whatever the case is, and and they're prepping for uh, their engagement or to put on a play uh, in front of an audience of people. It's the same thing behind the curtains. There are Bigger players, there are bigger fish in, in the sea or the ocean that know how to make this game uh, move, uh, how to actually play this game and uh, and how to actually uh, manipulate the market so that it moves in a certain way, okay? And that has everything to do with uh, money. Now, most traders uh, act or react upon fear, okay? And so um, we as retail traders, when we're actually trading, you know, we want to try to follow the steps of the bigger players at hand, the banks and the institutions. But a lot of times we react based on fear of, you know, what's going on in the market is just as well. And they want you to feel that way. That's why when economic news events drop um, and, you know, you see the market get real erratic or whatever the case is, um, a lot of people, they react based upon fear. So if you ever see the market just flush into the downside real quick after a major news event or whatever the case is or, flush, or push into the upside real quick, it's all centered around uh, the basic idea of people reacting based upon emotions. All right. So, uh, but in this business, okay, you have to, which, which is, it's not like a, like a video game, you know, some people think they can come to the market, uh, especially I find this a lot of younger, younger people, they can come to the market and treat it as if they're playing a video game, you know, um, a lot of people don't sit in front of these monitors and they don't, they don't quite understand what's going on. So to them, it's like, oh, the market's going up. Let me, let me, let me um, you know, follow, follow price and, and take that move to the upside with it. And then it eventually folds and goes to the downside and lose money. Same thing if the market's going to the downside and it pushes up, or whatever the case is. So you have to have patience. You have to have discipline. Without patience and discipline, I always speak upon this, uh, you will get crushed in this, in this business, okay? You get crushed quicker and sooner than you think. Um, and you will lose your lose your money very quick. All right. So you have to be a very disciplined and patient person, which, you know, it has everything to do with training your psychology. All right. We can't jump in and out of the market. We have to wait for the greater setups, for the better probability, the higher probability setups. All right. And you have to be able to tame that tiger on the inside of you, you know, that, that, that fear, that greed piece. Um, because by doing so, it's going to allow you to become a more patient and disciplined trader. 
you know, just how, how the market is structured, in a sense, I always talk about market structure. It is structured. It is creating structure. It's building a, a, a platform or building a foundation uh, for you to be able to go back and read. The same thing. We have to build that with on the inside of us. We have to build that structure on the inside of us and grab hold of to, um, you know, the things that kind of drive us to uh, a trading, you know. And you have to set that fear and greed piece apart, uh, set to the side, whatever the case is, and trust in yourself. Okay. Once you be able to, once you're able to trust in yourself, then you're able to, um, you know, tame yourself or get yourself to a position to where you have uh, patience and you're able to be disciplined at the same time. You know, just like in life, we have to be disciplined people to be able to go through life, to be able to understand the processes and how to take care of things in life. Uh, regardless of what it is each and every day okay uh, so let's move on to number two number two that is um, having a solid trading strategy I'll say okay and this is probably probably more so one of those things that's probably on the, the latter end of the things uh, in numbering other things I need to talk about today but uh, having a solid I, I'm gonna go ahead and spit it out uh, spit it out and, and talk about it uh, having a solid trading strategy okay um, no, another reason why people jump off the cliff or and stop trading pretty quick within a, a very short period of time um, is the fact is they don't have a solid trading strategy. They don't even know probably really what a, a, a strategy is. Again, they're just going back trying to chase the market, thinking uh, this stock here stole off. You know, I'm not talking. You know, I'm not a stock stock trader, but if you do trade stocks, whatever the case is, you know, oh, this stock showed off, sold off. I'm gonna capture it when it gets down to this price level and ride it back to the tops. Well, you don't know if the market's gonna push through or flush through that area just as well, you know. And that can that can go for any particular market, the future markets that can go for, you know, forex or options or whatever the case is. It, it, that's not the way to trade, okay? You have to be strategic in your moves and understanding, you know, the powers to be and how they're moving, okay? Where they have interjected money or 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 into the market pretty much, I'll say like that, you know, where they are filling orders at certain key levels and you want to basically be looking for opportunities to trade uh, once price gets back to those levels, or, uh, you know, where trace is back to those levels, whatever case is. So that's how I trade each and every day. I trade supply and demand and by me doing so, I can see and looking at my charts in a sense or to pick areas where they have made powerful moves in the market and knowing that, okay, well, they probably haven't filled all those orders there. So I'm going to wait for price to kind of get back to that area, wait to see if there's more rejection. So it's, it's uh, you know, trading is all based upon speculation in a sense as us as retail traders, but you get the bigger, you, you can sense the key or, or get a hint of what's going on if you just follow uh the market structure, understand market structure and follow price action, you know, and look at the market and see, okay, this was an area here where the market kind of move pretty quick after creating this level here and then flush the downside or flush back to the upside. Guys, forgive me. I keep pushing. I keep knocking this piece of uh, paper off of my uh, desk here um, that I have some notes written down on. So anyways, sorry about that. Um, kind of moved to the side now. But anyways, yes, you have to have a strategy, okay, uh, if you want to be able to, and then one that actually works and not just like 50% of the time, 60% of the time. Um, some people may tell you that that's okay. If it loans are worth 50% of the time, you're able to capitalize and, and make good profits off of it. You know, even though you may have some losing trades, as long as you're, you're, uh, you're, you know, you have a greater profits than you do, you have losses, then you're okay. I don't believe in that, especially as a scalper, because uh, every trade that I take counts in a sense. Um, because the scalpers, we're looking to maybe capitalize on a few trades daily. When, it, when and in some instances or most instances. If you're a swing or position or position style trader, you're looking just to take capitalize maybe on one, one trade if you can get it daily or every few days, whatever the case is, and ride it. I'm a scalper. I'm a day trader. I enter day and I'm in and out of the market pretty quick, and that happens for me within the first, uh, hopefully within you know within two hours time frame after the market opening up, I'm done. Okay, um, and then sometimes I go back into the afternoon and see. But you got to have a strategy. You got to have one that actually works. And there's so many of them out there. And but and just as well as so many people out, or, or so-called gurus out there that um, claim to have the holy grail and can show you a strategy that actually works to where you actually can profit and make money in the market and have consistent wins such as like 400 wins in a row and things like that. Guys, me as a person, I had to develop my own strategy. I'm not saying that I didn't go and watch videos from other individuals or traders online and look through books, the research, understanding and learning about other strategies, whatever the case is. And sometimes you can take little bit tidbits from 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 uh, from you know uh, information um, that people share when it comes to strategy and make things work, make things magically work for you. Kind of incorporate it and, and tweak things. It's kind of like making a, a 
baking a cake or, or making your favorite recipe. You got all the key ingredients, so you just kind of maybe say, oh, I don't, I'm gonna change some things up and make it my own, you know, put my own twist so I can have my own flavor, um, you know, a, a, a different uh, taste to it or whatever the case is. The same thing with me. When I was devising and kind of come up with a strategy that worked, I spent time looking at the markets, kind of understanding the way they flow, looking at markets, uh, kind of returning back to certain key areas, whatever the case is, and started saying, okay, let me see if I can trade. If, if price returns here to this level here, if I scale down to give me a little bit more confirmation and wait for this, then I could possibly trade and, and kind of, um, you know, be more consistent with my trading, whatever, whatever the case is. So I started kind of switching the ingredients up a little bit to where I got a solid strategy that kind of worked for me. And that's what you have to do. You know, I'm not saying I'm not using somebody else's strategy, you know, um, as long as it works or whatever the case is. If someone that may be experienced and show you a strategy that actually works, stick with it in. As long as it works and you're consistent and you have a higher win uh, law, uh, excuse me, a higher win rate than loss, than, than, than loss, meaning that your win to, to loss ratio is higher, then stick with it. If it works, it works. How the old saying goes, don't fix what is not broken, stick with it, okay? So you got to have a solid strategy if you want to make it um, in this business and carry through each day and be profitable, profitable okay? So we'll go on to the next thing. Another reason why most traders quit trading instantaneously in a very short period of time and what i see most people uh, uh you know quit trading within the first month they blow their account and some people blow their account several times over luckily for me i've never blown an account yes i have lost trades in the beginning definitely so and every once in a while you know i'll take a few ticks lost whatever the case is but i know now with having so much years of experience where to get out of the market and not allow the market to come back against me and that comes again people have this this thing well how do you how do you you know how do you not take a, a, a loss, whatever the case is, meaning allowing your stop loss to get hit or things of that nature, whatever the case is. Guys, it comes with a spirit experience, you know. It's just like any profession that you become great at, an athlete, an athlete, um, you know, uh, 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 whatever it may be, a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer, um, whatever it is, you have crafted that skill set to where you know um, it how to, to eliminate all errors errors in a sense you know you know what not to do um to you know make yourself become successful you know so that's the same thing when it comes to trading you craft your skill set to a point to where you say all right i have eliminated and and, and my uh have a very narrow um margin for error now okay because i have eliminated all the things that i have uh, allowed all the uh problematic situations that have occurred when I was trading, whatever the case is, you go back and you start eliminating things. And that comes with, with, with just taking the time, back testing, going back, you know, and just practicing, practicing, practicing. The more you practice, the more you become experienced. And with the experience, then you can lead yourself into becoming a professional trader or an experience level trader to where you're profiting each and every day. But you have to understand and go back and, and see the flaws to, to understand how you need to eliminate those errors just as well. And so that goes, like I was saying, blowing your account. That's what happens. Most people who are unexperienced, they think they can quickly jump into trading and start making money. They blow their account several times over. And they think it's because they have the money, the capital. I have X amount of dollars and I'm not worrying about it, whatever the case is. You know, at that moment, they may not be worrying about it. Let's say they got $50,000 to drop into the, to, to the brokerage account. They start trading with that. I could tell you, you could lose $50,000 in one day's trading, okay? Or within a week's trading. Or within a month, whatever the case is, and it's gone. You know, people end up losing large sums of money. You may go on to, to, to trade in one day and have no experience at all, and think it's because you have the money, um, and you you think you understand how to trade correctly. You lost five thousand dollars. The next day you lost five thousand dollars. The next day you lost ten thousand dollars. Guys, within one week, like I said, you blown that account. You lost all fifty thousand dollars. And guess what? That will put a sour taste in your mouth very quickly and take that taste out for you to ever want to trade again so within the first month you're done you quit and most people don't even come back to the table to even think or have the idea or want to even try to trade again okay the whole taste and and uh excitement about becoming a, a day trader is gone it's lost they don't even think about it they don't turn back they don't think about it they push it so far back in their mind till that thought doesn't come back to the forefront again okay and the last thing i want to talk about the very last thing i want to talk about it's basically the fear of losing money that you um, don't have to lose, you know, um, or that, that, that you can't afford to lose. OK, I should say it like that. Yeah, just basically the fear of money that you cannot afford to lose. All right. 
If you are in that situation, I'm going to say this, okay? Then you should not be trading because you should never be trading with money that you that, that you just cannot, um, I, I'm not going to say, you know, well, yes, afford, that, that you can't afford to lose, okay? But also in, in a sense that, that, that you cannot uh, put into your brokerage account without having to worry about, um, you know, losing in a sense, you know, because, hey, like I said, when I, when I started trading, yes, I lost money, but I didn't blow up my account. I quickly kind of stopped. I went back to the to the drawing board again and just started, you know, kind of um I knew something was 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 incorrect and wrong, so I started training myself and started digging deeper and deeper until I started until I started uh, basically going back to simulation and demoing again until I figured out what I was doing incorrect or whatever the case is and um slowly started devising and tweaking my strategy to I started seeing that I was more consistent in my trading day to day, week to week, and then month to month. So um, yes, the fear of losing money in trading is something we all suffer with, every trader, okay? But you have to understand you also must be, um, that fear has to go away in a sense, you know? Every, sometimes, I hear, I see this every day, especially like even on Discord or, or, or talking to other traders, whatever the case is, um, outside or people, people that I know personally that actually trade. Um, let me say this, they've experienced it. And they're professional traders or experienced level traders. You know, I see it on Discord all the time. People saying that I lost X amount of money today or the market scared me out or whatever the case is. I lost money. It does happen. Trust that, you know. Until you get to a, 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 a point in your life to where you are consistent and you're trading each and every day and you're making money, um, that fear piece has to has to dissolve itself. Um, it has to go away because if not, you're going to have sweaty palms each and every time you get into a trade and you're going to, you know, the market's going to shake you out. And when it shakes you out, you're going to lose money. And you're going to lose money that you can't afford to lose, all right? But like I was saying, going back to what I was talking about, um, you should never be trading with money that you don't have uh, or you can't afford to lose um, because then you're tapping into money that you may need to pay a bill with. So you're risking, you're gambling. You know, some people can't, a lot of people say, oh, oh, trading is gambling. Trading is not gambling, gambling, you know? Um, but you are gambling in a sense if you're taking money that you do not have, um, but that you can't trade with or can't afford to trade with and start trading with it, you know, when you should be paying uh, a bill or providing food to put on the table or paying for your health insurance or whatever the case may be, you're gambling then. That is a sense of gambling at that point there. So please understand, do not think that you can that you, that you can just start to learn to trade over overnight uh, because you need some quick money or some fast money. There's no such thing as fast money, okay? Understand that. It takes time to build a craft. Guys, if you hear some noise in the background, um, they're doing some, um, I guess, uh, lawn care, whatever the case is, close by. And uh, so that's probably what you hear in the background, lawnmowers and things of that nature, whatever the case is. So anyways, uh, getting back to what I was talking about, yes, you do not want to trade with money that you cannot afford to lose. Trust that, all right? Because um, it puts you even to a, 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 look, most traders, I'll say this. Who try or attempt that, taking money that, that, that they don't have to trade with or can't afford to lose, um, it quickly, like again, once again, it flushes the idea. They get into a panic mode to where they lost that money and they stop trading. They quit trading. They don't even want to think about doing it again because to them, it became a gamble and that gambling caused them to lose it all. And now you put yourself into a worse situation where that money that you once had to play that, that, that uh, to pay your bills with, now you're taking it to play or try to uh, gamble with in the markets, whatever the case is, because you aren't even a trader. You don't know how to trade uh, professionally or even have any experience in doing so. And to understand the business of trading, because trading is not a, it's not gambling. It's an actual business, okay? Um, and you have to make it and turn it into a business. So do not do that because then, you, like I said, you put yourself into a bigger situation to now that same money where you should be paying bills with. Now you don't have any money. Now you have to, now that fear grows even larger because now you have to figure out what am I going to do? I should have never done that. All right. So I, that's what I always say and I'll tell people: build up an account if you're working full time. Continue doing what you're doing to save money. Build up an account. But while you're building that account up, the the, the bigger picture is uh, the most important thing is is to um, is to craft, learn, become experienced. You know. And gain control of everything that you need to to become a beginner trader. Because you just don't go from a beginner trader to an experienced trader. Um, there are plenty of beginner traders who actually start off trading, trade very small size, 
and build an account up. And that's the best way to do it, build an account up. Gain more experience, gain more experience. So the more that you actually trade, the more that you're going to actually be able to see and you're going to start to understand and realize certain setups and make your strategy work for you is what I'm trying to say. And look for key setups in the market at, to what you can actually uh, conquer and and, and, and uh, profit from, okay? And the more you're able to do that, the more you're able to see that your strategy actually works, the more you're able to build your step-by-step uh, -step build your account up, okay? So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys appreciate the value in this content. Again, the rundown is, um, you know, if you don't have patience and discipline, that being, I'm going to just say number one, then don't start trading, okay? That will force someone to quit, all right, very quickly. Um, if you don't have a solid trading strategy, all right, that will also force you out of the markets real quick, will force you as a someone who has the thought of wanting to trade to quickly stop trading okay number three blown account that will cause you again to quit trading very quick you blow your account one time i know people who've blown their account several times and i don't know why they keep continue uh trading maybe you know not every, trading is not for everybody so when you start blowing your account several times then uh maybe you need to find something else to do okay maybe you just can't grasp the um the concept of actually uh, and learn how to trade correctly. And then, you know, the, the fourth thing, never trade with money that you don't have or that you can't afford to, to lose, okay? Don't ever do that, all right? Because that's even, that's a, a, a detrimental um, uh, area that you do not want to kind of, uh, you step into an area of landmines at that point there. You're trading with money that you, that you just can't afford to trade with. Don't do that, all right? Because you made your life, your situation for you, for not only not only for you, but for, for your loved ones just as well. Uh, because now you don't have any means of providing, okay? And you lost it all. That's gambling, okay? So that's all I have for you guys in this content today. Hope you guys find some value in what I'm trying to say. I do want to go ahead and um, talk about the Discord right quick because I'm always trying to push that because I think it's a great way for community members to come on. It's a great way for community members to actually learn. Lots of people are learning who have become part of our Discord community. And our Discord community is filled with future traders. If you're a future trader and you want to trade um, um, and become part of a, a team pretty much, our family of traders or future traders that you know, when we come together each and every day discussing and talking about the markets, future markets, um, where we basically share our levels and zones, our trade entries, um, basically kind of get some insight about the markets, what's going on in the daily session, then come over to our Discord community. Join by simply uh, finding a link down in the description portion of, the, of this video. Click on it. It's free of charge. Invite yourself in. I will show you that right now. Let me pull this up, our Discord. Here's the Discord community. Let me go here. Um, there's two channels here on the Discord community. One is the general chat section or channel to where you can basically openly talk about anything as long as it pertains to the future markets. You can be question and answering, you know, a basic question and answer type forum where you may have questions about things that you just are kind of learning or wanting to learn about um, that you just don't really know about. Come on to the community. Go to the general chat channel or section of the channel and uh, throw your question out there. Someone will have the answer. If I don't, someone else will. Okay, we have over 500 approaching 600 members on the community now. Uh, the trading floor is exactly what it is. It is strictly for the trading session and trading session only. So basically what we go into as the market is open, once the, um, the New York session opens, uh, we talk about the, the market as a whole. Um, you know, people share, like I said, their levels, their zones of interest, their trade entries. So it's a way for, for traders to future, future traders to engage and, and understand and learn what's going on and um, learn because when you start to see you know individuals or traders trading from, from specific areas or zones or levels then you can kind of question yourself and question other members hey why don't you take that trade from that area I'm, I'm interested to know I didn't quite catch that uh, entry there this is also a learning uh, tool the, the channel here as well okay so come over and join us today by simply uh, clicking on the link below and it's free of charge, like I said. Also, if you're interested, I will show you this just as well. So as I said, that's our Discord community. This here, what I'm gonna show you now is there's two YouTube, uh, I should say membership tiers that you can actually join one or the other, whatever the case is. Um, most everybody who signed up has signed up for the Elite Channel membership tier. Why? Because they specifically love the idea of uh, uh, receiving the private um, video content, which is not made public here on the channel. Just like I'm making this video publicly now, 
uh, if you join it for the um, YouTube t uh, tier membership program or through it, um, and I'm gonna show it to you right now, and especially if you join the elite channel membership, you get the trade breakdowns. It's where I post, uh, when I do post those trade breakdowns or videos uh, pertaining to the trade breakdowns, it basically gives you the inside, uh, behind closed doors, uh, thought process of what's going on, on why I'm, I'm interested in taking trades at certain levels or certain zones. Kind of just gives you the full thought process of what I'm thinking as I'm going through that setup, all right? And I talk through that, you know, basically breaking it down. These were my thoughts why I took that trade at, at this area, whatever the case is. That has helped people out tremendously. Um, and you can even ask people who are part of Discord, does that actually help out? You know, has the elite member, uh, has the elite uh, channel membership program actually helped out? And it's very, very um, inexpensive, I'd say. You know, it's $6.99 a month, very inexpensive. You're basically just supporting the channel. And by doing so, uh, I am providing certain perks and rewards just as well. And that big perk is the trade breakdowns, all right? So, like I said, it basically, you it's as if you're sitting right next to me and I'm walking you through my trades, all right? But virtually, you're able to see it as well visually through the videos, through the trade breakdown video videos, which are not made public. They're strictly privately for the elite channel members. And I'll show you that now because if you're interested in joining, all you have to do is either go to the homepage, okay, here on YouTube, or you can click on any video and find the join button. Click on the join button, and then you will see where there's two tiers here. One, the loyal channel supporter tier, which has a few perks, but the bigger one, which is, um, that was $4.99, the elite channel supporter tier. And then you have the elite channel members tier, which is $6.99. Again, the biggest perk behind that, while most people and all people have signed up for that one, is because of um, they get that exclusive members only video content, which is the trade breakdowns. So I just wanted to share that with you. Maybe you're interested. Maybe you want some additional uh, content or view time material, so which is not made public. And maybe you want to kind of understand and get the scoop on uh, my thought process behind my trades. That is where you can actually sign up for $6.99 a month for the price of a cup of coffee. Most people spend more than that on a cup of coffee daily. But for $6.99 a month, you're getting such great content um, for such an expensive uh, fee or whatever the case is. So that's all I have for you guys today in this video content. Hopefully that um, you know you guys, like I said, gain some value from it and understand you know what I'm trying to say in regards to uh, why most new traders actually stop or quit trading pretty quickly, you know, it's, 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 it's the truth, you know, I've seen this time and time again, and people do not come back to the table because they lost all taste to actually trade. So that's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and uh, have a great weekend.